Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, Ace Ben Dead with Smell Better Ferguson. I'm your host, Ace Benz, and I'm back with another video. Hey, yo, over here, we talk about fragrances and all things to improve your lifestyle. Like always, we want you to do better, we want you to be better, we want you to think better, we want you to feel better, we want you to smell absolutely amazing, yo. If you dig what you see, like and subscribe for free. Help the channel grow. Share this content and leave a comment down below. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a show. Hey yo, I'm back with yet another video. Let's talk about it. Let's get it. Let's go. Yo, so I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Another fragrance review, man. It's about two different fragrances. I always bring you two. And the one I want to talk about now first. It's from the house of Mason Alhambra, and this is Woody Oo. Look, you got the name, the logo on the front, concentration. This is an 80 ml bottle. It's nothing on the sides, you got a logo on top. Ingredient information on the back with authentication sticker right there. Woody Oo by Mason Alhambra, man. Very nice, solid box. Here's the bottle presentation. It's in that snow. That's the bottle. Very nice bottle. Woody Oud this Mason I Humphreys. It's a fragrance. It's, it's for men. It's for women. It's a unisex fragrance, man. The package is very good. It's a decent presentation, man. The package is very decent, man. It's a good enough, it's good enough to keep. I've kept this um, for a while, especially I wanted to keep it at least until I did a fragrance review on it. And it's probably gonna go in the trash right now because I'm running out of space. I can't keep all of these boxes, man. But anyway, this is a great bottle design. Very, very nice, man. It's it's similar to the one that's cloned. This is a clone. This is a clone of Tom Ford's Oud Wood. You already know that. I'm gonna put this on tester strip for a sec. Three sprays. Again, great bottle design, great spread, great packaging. Very similar to the Tom Force Oud Wood. This is probably the reason some of the fragrance from Mason Alhambra is under scrutiny right now. Um, as you all know, the, the ones that's been copied in the Tom Ford line has been discontinued. But you can still find this out there on the market right now. Even on Amazon, you can find this on Amazon right now for about 28 to 35 bucks but about this fragrance you got some agarwood which is the oud up top in the middle you got some sandalwood and in the base you got some some more agarwood some amberwood and some um cambodian oud of course this is woody you got oud amber warm spices and it's animalic the occasions to wear this fragrance, man, to the office, business settings, meetings, whatever, whatever, whenever you want to wear it. The price is unbeatable. Rid ridiculous value will cost you less than taking your girlfriend out for them, to be honest. Like I said, 28 bucks. I think when I purchased it, I paid 22 bucks for this fragrance. Now, as far as the compliments, the compliments on this fragrance is a hit or miss. Um, again, I love the fragrance. I love the scent profile. It's a beautiful scent profile to me, but it's, it's kind of close to the skin. And so it doesn't reach out there and grab people. People are not really noticing it unless you're up close and personal with somebody. Even then, not from my experience, but, but from what I've heard, this can be a light for many and it can be a dislike for some as well. But to me, this is a nice fragrance. It smells very good, man. It's a pleasure when I have it on. I, I, I enjoy the scent profile. There's some fragrances that, that are just for you, especially if you're a fraghead. And this is one of those that's, that's just a win for me. 
I've never smelled ooh wood, but this is ooh good, man. This is nice, it really is. It smells really nice in my opinion. Even though it's not a great performer, it sits really close to the skin. It lasts maybe two or three hours. And that's all you can ask for. I don't I don't think there's a problem with reapplying this, man. Um, again, it's an excellent fragrance. It's mature, it's sophisticated, manly, modern. It's a masculine fragrance. We got soft woods up in this thing, man. This is a great scent. It's a scent for a smooth operator, a gentleman's scent. It's for a gentleman's taste. It's it's a it's a it's a pleaser. It's a pleaser to um fragheads. It's a pleaser to me, man. I, I enjoy the scent profile. I enjoy it so much that um I did not want to spend the money on the ooh wood right at this time. It's not not what I'm trying to do. But there is another fragrance out there that's very similar. Just along the same lines. And I just purchased this. I just got this one in. And this one is from the house of Versace. This is Versace for home. Ooh Noir. Presentation, as far as the box is not as good as the oud wood or the woody oud. But this bottle, man, I, I love this bottle. The Versace bottles are a dream to me, man. Look at that bottle. Okay, this is the first time I smell these side by side. And there are some strong differences. Wow. Let's see. Oud wood. Oud noir. Oud noir is brighter, it's fresher. It's a little sweeter. Wow. I like Woody Oud. Personally, I like Woody Oud. But the sweetness in this Oud Noir, oh my goodness. This is... Now again, I just got this in. I have not worn this. I don't know how this is going to perform out in the crowd. I don't know how it's going to perform um, for others around me. But to me, it's invigorating, it's bright, it's fresh, it's, there, it seems like there's some citrusy aspects in this, but I can't, I can't put my nose on it, but it's a good fragrance, it's very, very, it's, it's very sophisticated and masculine as well, but it's, it's got this little oomph to it, you know? Wow, okay. What I do see, what I do feel from this, um, some people say they get a bug spray type of feel from the Woody Oud or the Oud Wood, Woody Oud. I kind of get that from here. But, but in a divine way, man. Again, back to the, the presentation, man, the box. It's not as good as the other, but it's a, it's a solid, decent, beautiful looking box, black box. The Versace logo on the front, man. Again, the bottle is a heavy, heavy black and gold bottle. Black gold combination gives you this upscale type of vibe. Cap is very light, it's weak. Nothing special about the cap, man. Nothing at all. But the juice, man. The juice. This fragrance, top notes, black pepper, bitter orange, neroli. And, and in the middle, you got some saffron, some cardamom, some olibanum. And then the base, you got some agarwood, patchouli, and leatherwood. 
Yeah, it's that bitter orange that's separating it. The, the bitter orange is making this ooh saffron cardamom combination shine. This is beautiful. Bump what they say, bug spray or not. This is a nice fragrance. It's warm, it's spicy, fresh, woody, leathery, citrusy. Patchouli gives it a, a, a more of a woodier feel, man. You can wear this. You can wear this to work, to the office, meetings, dates, and special events. And the price right now for this one is about 60 bucks. I, I got mine off of Amazon for 59 bucks, man. Compliment factor on this one. The compliment factor on this one, man, considering that it is very smooth and a beautiful fragrance to me, the profile is very attractive and it's going to go on use the compliments. However, I have not worn this and, and the, comp the compliment factor is to be determined, but I can see it doing well. I can see it being a crowd pleaser, man. Yo, this fragrance, it's, it's good. It's good for an introductory experience to the Oud um, scent profile if you have not experienced that whatsoever. It's an exquisite scent with some um, woody oriental notes. Decent price for a designer fragrance, man. It's great for formal occasions. It's great for people with um, an oriental taste because it does have an oriental vibe to it. Saffron. Oh, man. This one, it's, it's very easy to wear. It, it's an office, it will be an office standout without being overpowering. It's very intoxicating and addictive type of fragrance, man. I like Oud Noir. Haven't worn it. I can't, I can't wait to put it, man. It's the first time I sprayed it on my skin. I got the package in, I opened it immediately. I sprayed it up in the air a few times. I put it on the test strip, but I haven't put it on skin until now. And it's bright, fresh, and zingy for a ooh fragrance. This is, it's divine. I, I like this, man. This is very nice. I am intrigued by this fragrance. Um, I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm hyping this one over the Woody Ood, cause you can't go wrong with that Woody Ood, man. But it, for 28 bucks, you can't go wrong. I love that scent profile. It smells nice. It's very masculine and very appealing to me. Um, again, like I said, I've, I've only worn it a few times and. And because it sits close to the skin, I have not got a crowd reaction out of it. But this one, yeah, this one I can see it standing out and I can see it garnering the attention of the people around you, man. Oud Wood, Oud Noir, Versace versus Mason Alhambra. Both decent fragrances. If you don't have them, I suggest you give them a try. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, help the channel grow. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you're rocking. Like always, I thank you for watching. I'm Ace Benz, a.k.a. Ace Vendetta with Smell Better Fragrance. Until next time, smell good, smell better. We'll smell you later. Peace.